A lot of updates have been coming lately from Autodesk, and now it appears that it is Motion Builder's turn. So let's see what it brings with its 2025.1 update. Just so you know, Autodesk Motion Builder is a 3D character animation software with pre-built moves that allows you to capture, edit, and play back high-quality animations in basically what we call an interactive environment. Like the stuff when you see actors wearing mocap suits and doing movements and animations for video game and VFX projects. It is also used for viewing and editing motion capture data. First of all, this update introduces the new USD plugin for Motion Builder. This includes support for loading, displaying, and interacting with static open USD stages. And for those of you who don't know what USD is, it stands for Universal Scene Description, which is an open source software that provides interchangeable element assets, models, or animations. In addition, it provides a toolset for reading, writing, editing, and rapidly previewing 3D geometry and shading. USD also enables assembly and organization of any number of assets into virtual assets, scenes, and shots, and it allows you to transfer them from application to application and non-disruptively edit them, which basically changed the industry. First of all, it was developed by Pixar, and then it was published as an open source software in 2016. After you got the gist of it, now with the added USD support for Motion Builder, you can load a USD stage, including textures and lights, into the viewport and animate it in context without having to import large scenes. You can also interact with the stage via Python. Also, Motion Builder now supports and displays both textures and lights from USD data and you will also be able to perform basic manipulations of the stage node. There are still some key limitations though, the biggest being that it isn't actually possible to convert USD data to Motion Builder data, or vice versa, which hopefully will be solved in the future. Now, the USD plugin is not the only feature added, because there are multiple workflow and performance upgrades that also have been added, such as the possibility to lock a global time mark, preventing them from being moved and stretch multiple selected clips in loop mode in the story tool. In addition, new shortcuts have been added to quickly change takes and other common tasks. If you never heard of Motion Builder or if you are interested in it, Motion Builder is rental with a tag price of $245 per year. There is also the new flex where you can get access to Motion Builder with 6 tokens a day with 2 plans for $300 for 16 days and $1500 for 83 days over a year. And there you have it guys. If you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more news about the 3D industry and 3D software in general. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.